Hello, shiny, happy people. Excuse me. <laughs> How is everyone? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to Kim's Crafts. My name is Kim. And I just have a real quick little video for you. I bought some things, diamond painting related things off of Amazon. Um, and I thought I would open it up with you guys. So this one actually came in a box with other things. And so I took it out. Otherwise, otherwise being in a box, it's just in this bag, loose like this. And we'll go ahead and... So this is just a different type of storage system. I have quite a few of them right at, the, at, at, at this point. And I probably will do a storage thing just... And I know you. there's a million storage videos, so it would just be if you're interested in what I feel are the pros and cons of each system that I've used. Um, this is, I've debate, I debated back and forth whether or not I wanted to get this. Oh, there you go. Um, and the reason why all the lids aren't on, I guess somebody got it and like looked at it, played with it and didn't like it or something. So this is from Art Dot and it's a 120 jar. Um, so there's 120 jars and it was $29.99. And I wasn't sure if I would like jars but of course I ended up getting one with 120 of them. <laughs> because, you know, go big or go home. But it's a double layer. I actually really like this foam. It's very sturdy. And it has something over it where you, you don't actually see the foam on top. Like something, like a velvet cover, which is kind of cool. So the reason why I wasn't sure if I would want jars are for two reasons. It seems like a lot of work, you know, if you have a lot of confetti, a lot of color changes in a small area to like have to unscrew and screw on, that seems like a lot of work to me. You know, uh, but uh, also, Another thing that I, I think might drive me absolutely bonkers is when you put the labels on these jars, you know, when you put them back, the labels could be going this way, that way, this way, where when you have the square ones, you put them back, the labels are always the same way. So I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this system, but I see it all the time and I wanted to give it a try. So we shall see, we shall see. It comes with, you know, two layers. It's 120, so there's 60 in each. Um, and any more, it seems like you're lucky to get a painting that's not with uh, colors in the 50s plus, right? So there's that. And then it comes with this toolkit and a funnel, which awesome, I could use a funnel in all of my all of my things. So this is a collapsible funnel. I'm really sure. There we go. Love how they put the trash. They're like, oh just take it off. <laughs> just just keep it. Um Here's the collapsible funnel. So this certainly would fit in these jars. But like this would not fit in a tic-tac jar. You can't use this in a tic-tac jar. Okay. It's not the happiest funnel. It's a bit sad. All right. 
so. And then it has a, oh, I don't have one of these trays. That's interesting. So that it has one of these large white trays with a spout. And I actually don't have one of these trays, so that's cool. It comes with some stickers. Um, lots of wax, red wax or pink wax, whatever you wanna call it. Baggies, a couple green boats, a straightener, straightening tool. And then it has four pink pens and they all have some sort of multi-placer on them, different number. And they're all the thick ones. And then cheapy plastic tweezers that I don't think are actually something you would use. They don't feel strong enough to like rip a drill and pull it off your painting, to be honest with you. So a little storage area here to, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how I like this. So again, this is from Art Dot, 120 storage containers, $29.99. And it comes in a cool little suitcase be very safe to travel with. All right, then I got Oh, you don't see that often from Amazon. It's like a whole Etsy setup here. Some pens. Wow, it gave me a huge pack of thin multi-placers, awesome. And I got, yeah, I mean, these all said they were handmade resin pens. I got, I got a lot, I like, I like thick ones. I like chunky. I like the way that feels. Um, oh, I love this. So this is called Artistic Red. And I'll put links for everything in the description below. And it was $9.99. And I, I, I know I need to go to a small shop on Etsy and get a pen, but um, I'm still buying diamond paintings. And I just, for 50, 60 or whatever plus dollars for a pen, I just wanted to get a couple from Amazon because I enjoyed my first one. Some more multi-placers. So very cool. That's a little blindy. That's really cute. It came in this bag from Amazon. I've never seen that. So that was $9.99 Artistic Red. I'm excited because I, I broke my other one. All right, and this is just called Yellow. And this one was $7.90. I'll be honest with you, when I go on Etsy and look at diamond painting pens, it intimidates me a, a little bit. I don't know if anyone else felt that way or feels that way. Um, but looking at blanks and not really knowing what the pen is gonna look like in the end, and then not being able to feel it, like, will it be uncomfortable? Will it be thick enough for 40 to $60? It just, I'm just not sure. So I'm always back and forth. Oh, I'm gonna get this style, this blank, and then I'm like, what if I don't like it for $60? That's a big what if for me. So I just haven't done that yet. Again, just a little bit of wax. And so I just, I know I like this size. I know I like the feeling of this in my hands, the thickness. So I just got, we'll see how many I got. So that's two. So again, 790. 
And I, and I wanted to get ones with different colors and swirls and all, all the things, so. Oh, another one like that. This one actually did not have um, a name, but I wrote it down as the purple and silver. Oh, I love this. This is so gorgeous. Look at this. I love that. And it came with some blue wax. And another bag of multi pleasers. Ooh, and an extra pen tip. Awesome. And this one was only $8.99. And I did get another one, but it's not in here. But I'm pretty sure it's listed as delivered. So. I'm going to have to look into that. Maybe it's not listed as delivered and I didn't I didn't look at it very closely. But I got another one um, that I was kind of excited about and it's not here yet. So um, I probably won't do a, an unbagging for that. I'll just show you in one of my videos once. But yeah, so I got, essentially I got four. You're only seeing three here. The most expensive one was the purple one, which was $8.99. Uh, the least expensive was the yellow, which was $7.90. And the one that's not here was actually $8.90. Oh no, the most expensive was this one, which was $9.99. So essentially I spent like less than, less than $40 on four pens. And um, yeah, I'm excited about all of them. They're so pretty. And I, and I know I like the weight and the girth of them. So I figured I'll get a bunch of different colors and different um, swirls. And, and the other one is clear with stuff inside of it. So I can just use it for different types of paintings. Okay guys, I'm adding this part in somewhere in the middle, wherever I feel it makes the most sense. So if you notice that it's a little off or it looks weird, that's why. Um, I already unboxed and ended the video or unbagged and ended the video. And I went back to see, because I ordered four pens and it said they were all delivered. And I went back to see um, if it did indeed say that this pen was delivered and um, I was going to obviously say, hey, no, I didn't get it. But I read the delivery man or woman's um, comment and it said left in patient, it left in patient, <laughs> I'm a nurse, um, left in cli a client's mailbox or whatever. So I went out to the mailbox and sure enough, it was in there. So it was not in the packaging with the other things. So I am just going to add this into the video somewhere wherever I feel it makes the most sense and just show you guys. This is the fourth pen that I ordered. This is called Plant Pink and it was $8.90. And I thought this was so cute. I thought this would be good to do with um, my mystery painting, The Secret Garden. How pretty is that? So it just has like some dried flowers in the middle. And again, it just comes with some nice soft, it's it's like 90 plus degrees out, so it's nice and soft wax <laughs> and some multi placers. Yeah, I love it. So those are the pens I got. Again, this, you know, all, all of the links will be in the description below. All right, guys. So that is my small 
Amazon haul for some diamond painting things. I will put links for all of the products in the description below. And yeah, if you like this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you wanna see more from me, you can hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and it will let you know when I upload more videos and share all the things of diamond painting that I'm doing. Thanks guys, have a great day. Take care, keep diamond painting.